Hey guys, welcome back to the Wandering Wind. Today we're going to be finishing up the prologue um, story chapter with the Song of the Dragon and Freedom Act 3 quest line. Hopefully we can get through the whole thing before I have to go to bed tonight. Enemies of the human race. Mm. Even the underground networks rarely come across the information <laughs> on them. With that said... Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G. <clears throat> this will hopefully be the last um, big push for um, quest videos for a while. How do I put it? The seven, as people now know them, were once known as the seven archons. The seven archons. Nice. That is the role that the archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But hmm. I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go True. forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. Gene, there's maybe some... Uh, however it may have... Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the seven. And yet you almost sound proud about it. Yes, that's why you're a god to the city of freedom. Aww. Oh, such <laughs> a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? Or a curse. Oh my goodness. But we digress. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. Oh, good. We found it. Enough how important it is. That means we can get going. Prologue Act 3. Song of the Dragon and Freedom. Excellent. Defeat the assailants. Nice. Okay, then. We gotta go over here. Oh, I didn't activate that. Waypoint yet? Huh, of course not. Well, now I will. So that way it's already done. And then we can defeat the Abyss Mages over here that mm, just kind of get in the way. Yeah, a lot. Excellent. What's this? After the Abyss Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. Abyssal energy. energy was being used mm. to cut off the connection between me and Divala. Oh my goodness. Do you know if Storm Terror is like... Mm, I think of people... Heard, I think I've heard people talk about it in Mondstadt. Oh, of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. After Divala woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. Ah. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. Of course now, it is. As the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. Nice. I must admit, it sounds even... It should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Excellent. Which means we're going to confront Devalin? Yep. I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slavery is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, eh, don't say gladly. Far. Hmm. By that, I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. The traveler, our isn't trump it? Card? The traveler, of course. <laughs> I figured. Is it because I can purify it? Much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds the Valen belong to the same maleficent power. Ah, uh, maleficent. Means. One of the worst of the dark fairies from fairy tales. Weren't we just talking about how I can fight? Hey, nice plan. I am with you. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the abyss. And a dragon. No, no pressure. pressure <laughs> Hi, Mom. You are a Let's pessimist. Go. And so, epic action, the brave hero finally leads to this 11th hour. 11th hour, huh? Nice. And so we go. Excellent stuff. <laughs> so barrier. The liar to break through this kind of storm, big. Uh, wait, what is that? Ah, 
crap, of course. Yeah. The will need to be cleared before I can begin my performance. Generally speaking, such chores are not the concerns of the performer himself. Wait, what's going on? There shouldn't be any hilly trail camps in the vicinity of Storm Terror's lair. Shouldn't be, but there are. I just saw some on the way here. Come on, man. Just want to kill this one. Come on, please. Leave my space. Leave my space. You, Glay, you're up. All right, you're gone. And then you're gone. Disperse the wind area. Nice. This order must be manipulating them behind the mm. scenes. Yet they shouldn't have been able to determine that we would come. Ah. Presumably spreading their force. Without further ado, I suppose I can play fast. We appreciate you playing faster, Venti. You're not, this is it. You're not entirely <laughs> useless. <laughs> yourselves. Let's move. Mm. Shoot. You're not entirely useless. <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful compliment to give somebody? Let's just continue. I want to get through this quest as soon as possible. I want to go to bed before too late. He flies. Oh, hmm, you have a point. Have a point. Yes, Paimon, he definitely does. <laughs> He's definitely, you are definitely simpler than most. It's stuck. Huh. It's stuck. Venti, don't, 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 man, don't mock Paimon. She might be a bit simple, but she's she she deserves better than that. She does. Hey, check out that roof. <laughs> Is there a giant? Yeah, there's a giant hole. We could climb up from there. Hmm. I suppose we could make use. Let's make a detour then. Heading up. Heading Let's up. make a detour then. Heading up. <laughs> what is up with you today, Venti? Are you always this mean? Think there will be abyss mages hiding in the ruins? <laughs> Maybe. Either way, if we do run into one, we will let the victorious Master Diluc do the... <laughs> do not underestimate them just because I have beaten one of them before. Uh, really? Oh, well. I'm not I tried. Like You're simply saying there is more to the abyss order than a few mages. Correct. <laughs> That's why I tagged along after all. Yep. Well, that and also for your safety. Right. Whatever you say. Why am I so diligent? <laughs> Too diligent for a poet, in fact. So says the person that made zero effort to search for the dragon tears and drink in the tavern all day. Right. Paimon Come on, man. It. What part of you is remotely diligent? Uh, the part that likes to drink. <laughs> the riches that lay inside. Good for you. Yep. It might lead us to the top of the tower. It will. Ooh. Yay. We've gotten another one. We've gotten another. Oh. You're going to be important later. Very important. Oh, but first, let's get the precious chest up here. Oh, wait, no. Luxurious chest. Nice. From this world? This oh crap! We can't advance not. any further. The, the ruins seem to be guarded by ancient seals. Yep. Is this the work of Devalid? Eh, partially. No, these ruins were once oh, no. part of an ancient city. Dev 
Fallen just happens to be nesting in these ruins for now. These ruins even predate the existence of the Four Winds. This is Decarabian's tower, wasn't it? Mondstadt is a city without a ruler. It was ruled over by a tyrant. Anyway, I'll sing you that story when we have a chance in the future. Right? <laughs> My archaeological knowledge is not mistaken. This appears to be a light axe. Light axe waiter. Nice. So, what? If we retrieve and reintegrate all the parts, we should be able to get it working. Nice. We should be close to completing the ceremony for this actuator. Let's put the last part back and see. Excellent. Okay. Survive. And then teleport waypoint. So that way we can easily take care of that. And then reactivate. Ooh. Good job. Come on. Let's go back. Venti. Hey, Once buddy. Right. There are three more halos circling the tower. Which means there are three more corresponding light actuators to activate. I right. One from here. Oh, wonderful! We got one over here the in the must arena. Be scattered within the ruins around here. Let's go find them. Okay, let's Why go find them. Fallen take a place filled with puzzles and seals as his... He doesn't walk in. He flies in. Uh, you do have a. You do have a point. Good. Good job. Good job, girlie. You managed to do it right as we needed you to. Okay. <laughs> Second one. Okay, let you recharge. And then get the last one. And then activate it and probably fight a boss. Because that probably seems to be the pattern we're going for. Fight a boss, then activate a puzzle. Oh, there we go. One done. Wow, this light actuating ceremony does work magic. You can't win, Anakin. I've got the high ground. Ah eh, well, you know. Like I said in part one, at least. We're not having to meet Obi Wan there. <laughs> Good lord. That was such an awful, awful um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, Bane of Slimes, yes. Good job, Yao Yao. Job number one, number two over here, and number three. Hmm. Over here, inside of a wind pillar, so I'm going to have to go up. We can do this. Just climb. Regenerate. Switch over to Mona. Just because she's got better advantage with this. Come over here. Jump. Plunge. And then. Back over here. Where is the arm mechanism? Is it over here? I do not know. Oh, it's over here. Good 
job. Second me mechanism is unlocked. Now we got the third one to deal with, and we're done. It seems two of the halos have become solid ground. Oh, crap, really? Shadows of fate. Scatter. <laughs> Try not to enjoy. Come on, Come let's a go. Closer. Yes, good job. All right. One, two, where's the third? Did I climb to the third? I hope I did. Wait, I already probably laid it in. Inlaid it as well. I did. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's done. Paimon thinks we should venture onward from here. Brilliant. I'm thinking about turning these adventures into songs after we're done. Well, we certainly have gone through a lot recently. Hopefully, this song will be sung for years to come by the people of Mondstadt, just like the legend of Vanessa. Yeah, I've loved you can only hope. Since I was small. How are you feeling today, Honor? I am completely prepared and fully confident that we can do this. <laughs> You're so reliable, Master Jean. Rest assured, I'm also completely prepared. Despite only being an accidentally involved bystander. Bystander. You shared your secret with me. <laughs> and I only returned your trust to the same extent. So, trust is what drove Master Dean Luke here. Responsibility is what drove Master Jean here. What about Venti? It's freedom. Freedom. Freedom for Devalin. Freedom from the Abyss and from his past. Freedom? When you first arrived at Mondstadt, did no one tell you that Mondstadt is the city of freedom? Amber did. <laughs> she really is a child of freedom. Oh, that's precious. That's that's brilliant. That's probably the, the nicest thing anyone's said about her. Which is sad that it's coming from an in-game character that doesn't even speak to her problem. I mean, personally. Mondstadt is a romantic city without the reign of a king. No and kings. Its citizens enjoy the most freedom amongst the seven nations. I hope the dragon Indeed. that once protected Mondstadt will soon be free too. <laughs> yeah, me too. No one should have deceived him by telling him that Mondstadt betrayed him. And right. No one should have told him that it was his eternal duty to protect the city. Oof. He has yeah. the right and freedom to choose his own way of life. Ex exactly. Exactly. Venti. Well then, traveler. May the thousands of years of wind that have blown through Mondstadt go with you. Brilliant. Brilliant. Just <laughs> I shall channel animal energy for you. I knew it. It was your verse I, voice oh, I heard. No wonder you said his voice sounds familiar. Uh, duh. What were you? I don't know. Okay, never mind. I'll be okay. Moon is not too important yet. Let's go. You can do it. <laughs> Two shiny spots on Devalin's back. Oh, my goodness. They appear to be poisonous blood clots that have coagulated on his wounds. Oh, no. The Abyss Order must have cursed the wounds. That's what's corrupting Devalin's mind. Oh, poor baby. Devalin, we're going to have to get rid of those blood clots. Right. Aim for those blood Come on. Come on, Devon, you can do this. We just need to ground you. That way we can destroy those clots. That's what we need to do. Poor baby. Come on. 
Dang, this is get, making me dizzy. Tabalin is getting away, but I'm familiar with his tactics. Just hold on a bit longer. Come on. Oh no. Are all of them bad for me to get hit by? I believe so, so. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. Crap. Eh, no! I'm trying not to get hit, I am. I'll extract and condense the pure animo from the shots being fired. Come on. Shattering them will create acceleration currents. Ah, dang it, Rowan. Oh, I gotta shatter them. Right. Excellent. Come on. Man. There we go. Another one. Another one. Another one. What am I, DJ Khaled? Another one. Another one. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't expect me to know that reference, did you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. He knows rap. Yep. I know rap. At least a little bit. Just enough to get me in trouble if I'm not careful. That's all. Ah, come on, Devalin. We're trying. We're trying. We're trying to ground you so that we can help you. I know. I know, baby. I know. It's so painful. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there, Devon. Almost there. And then we got the hard part to go on. We got the hard part. All right, Venti, where are the where are the winds? Where are the speed boosts, man? I can't see them at all. Here we are. Jeez, come on, man! Give me a break. Please give me something to go on. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's go with just this hash brown. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Come on. Another. Another one. Can you shoot him out of the sky? I don't know. Maybe. Come on, Devalin. There we go. Devalin, I'm sorry this is hurting you. Hang on, just one more. Come on, baby, you can do it. Poor thing. Really? That's his lair? Or that's where his final domain is? Dang. My goodness. Now comes the terror of the skies. Now we can fight to ball in on equal grounds. <laughs> the grandest bard is here to help. But first, let me be clear. Even after hundreds of years without use, the ballin's teeth and claws are still very dangerous. Chance. 
Come on. Aim for the tainted blood clot on his neck. Scatter. You're in for a little shock. Delved into destiny. Don't be scared. Come on. Oh. Good job. We're we're literally more than halfway down. That's brilliant. Good job, everyone. Good job. <laughs> this is the ball in space in the hole. Celestin and finale termini. <laughs> this dragon You're laughing about Ah uh, crap. Really? You're laughing about him using his final attack, really? There we go. One more. Yes, I know. Yes. Good job. Excellent. Ah. Oh no. Well, we're gonna die. We Where are we? Nope. We did not. <laughs> Devon caught us. Yay. Oh wow. It's been a while since we flew like this together. How huh, Devon? Just now. Why? Why did you not ask me to protect you like the last time? Me not wanting you to listen to the Abyss Order doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. True. Excellent, excellent words. Is this the power of the animal archon? Hmm, it but is. I am no longer part of the four winds. Even if that's so, you still protected us regardless. Right? You spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. Brilliant. threat was huh. closed. I clarified yep, that there's a bit of a to the citizens of Mondstadt. <laughs> know that they are safe. To them it seems Storm Terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> that is beautiful. However, winds, winds change their force. force. Someday they will blow towards a brighter future. Yep, they will. They will. <laughs> yes. Excellent. 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 <laughs> One day later. One day later. Time to come back and go to. Oh my goodness. Really? You guys are back. <laughs> the honorary knight returns triumphant. The honorary knight returns triumphant and ready for another adventure. We're back. You just returned yesterday, right? Dean got back first, and she told <laughs> us all about your heroic deeds. What's with the barriers, though? Huh. Uh, I wonder if I'll ever get an opportunity like that. Trust me, it's not an opportunity you want too often. <laughs> You're right, actually. Peace is hard won, and we shouldn't take it for granted. No, we shouldn't. At this time, you're the one we should all be grateful to. You're welcome. But have you been waiting for us here this whole time? No. Well, of course not. Just because I'm not out on the front lines doesn't mean I don't have work to do. In fact, I'm dealing with the aftermath of the crisis as we speak. Hmm. Aftermath? Here? What happened 
in Mondstadt. Seems like the Abyss decided to try and attack. While Master Jean was away, the monsters lurking nearby made a coordinated attack on the city. Sounds like they're working with the Abyss. Fortunately, we weren't completely taken by surprise. I detected the hilly churls were moving closer to the city a while back. Of course he did. You're smart. Oh yeah! <laughs> Paimon remember? <laughs> when we first met, you were clearing out one of their camps. Yep, exactly. Paimon is smart. If we hadn't started making preparations back then, Mondstadt would be in much greater danger by now. But why would they do this? I know. It's strange. Hilly churls aren't usually capable of coordinating like this. Of course they're not. They're usually always... Eh. Our best guess is that the Abyss Order is behind it. Oh, of course it is. Because it always is an Abyss, isn't it? They've taken over the Hilly Churls. Hmm. Good thing we saved Devalin or they might have taken him too. Well, according to recent story quests, they didn't really take them over. They're already part of them. That's right. And since I'm the Outrider, it's up to me to keep eyes on the Abyss Order from now on. Right. Uh, I'm sorry. You should be celebrating your victory, not listening to all this somber talk. <laughs> somber talk. I promised to take you out for some sticky honey roast, didn't I? Before everyone got caught up in the storm terror crisis. There's oh, no sticky like honey roast. Place. You guys hungry? Mm -hmm. You bet. You may have forgotten till just now, but it's been on Paimon's mind this whole time. Of course it awesome. has. Let's go. <laughs> it's been way too long since I last ate a sticky honey roast myself. Mm. Wait for me, a good hunter. I'll be right there. I just have to clean up here real quick. Okay. Let's talk to Sarah, a good hunter. Greetings. May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> it seems your great battle sharpened not only your combat skills, but to <laughs> bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. Yeah. It's coming from a knight. Sweet-talking, sugar-coated Captain Kaya. Right. <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. What are you doing Just here? Just looking for a quiet spot to collect my thoughts. Of course you are. All the other knights are thinking can be an... So what you thinking of... The Abyss Order. Oh no, what have they done now? In Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. If you right. were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly churls? Well, you know what? That makes me think. What's your angle, Kaya? What have you got in this, in this battle? After all, aren't you part of their whole plan? To get to the bottom of it. Come on, man. To wait. Then came the that same day. I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. Oh, wonderful. Well, all the other knights mm. were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely unguarded. Oh, no. Except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Mm, let's call it fraternizing. Oh, come on, man. If you're fraternizing, that's bad. ...various means, I managed to gather some rather interesting... Interesting intel. intel. The situation huh. is this. The Abyss Order... United again are united under, under a single, single leader. leader. Yes. And what exactly did you... <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic powers. The, uh, Kaya? Um, I don't like where this goes. I don't like it at all. There's more. I don't like it. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call him... The, the Prince. Prince. Of course they do. Now, I'm sorry to cut this. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. Oh, should you? Should you? Hey, Amber. He's right here. Come on and find him. One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. He does a lot behind the scenes. Are you sure? Because that sounds like exactly what he'd say to talk himself out of trouble. Come on. Come on, Amber. Come on. But let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's <laughs> rumbling. Let's order. Hi, sure. Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. Sticky honey roast. Yay. For an emergency boost. So, now the storm terror threat is behind us, what are your plans?
plans for the next step. Yeah, probably had no leeway. Yep. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. I will miss my Favonian family. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always <laughs> be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go and wherever the wind may blow. Let the wind lead. That's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt will <laughs> always welcome you. Oh, well, right. you know what? Mondstadt end might home. end up being endgame. You never know. Honestly, it'd be nice if we got an expansion to Monstad eventually. Good. Note to Paimon, Amber's recommendations are worth the wait. Yes, they are. Of course. Well, I don't <laughs> trust myself in the kitchen. You can always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost <laughs> forgot to mention. Jane's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lyre de Hamel. You'd better head there now. Oh, no. I forgot the holy liar is broken. We're gonna have to see a heartbroken Barbara. <laughs> Poor thing. This is Barbara, the deaconess <laughs> of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy liar de Hamel. May the animal archon protect you. Yep. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting grandmaster, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Welcome. Unfortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine <laughs> how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Badly. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This yep. time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing. And on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious <laughs> they could be. <sighs> Bless me. Sounds like quite the story. Uh. So, did you bring the holy liar with you? Yep. I cannot ask you to keep defending the liar forever. The seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. Yeah. We, uh, we did bring it with us, but uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> oh, it's no. little... oh no. Oh, don't worry. Mm. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. Oh, it's it, 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 it's really not that. It's not that at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness! Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, this scene makes me wonder about something. No. I don't know how you managed to fix it, but you'll never touch the liar again. Of course he won't. <laughs> we uh, really should get going. That trick I used to repair the holy liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? You know, this scene makes me think. That maybe it wasn't, um, because at first I thought maybe it's an illusion or some sort of, um, temporary restoration magic. But now I'm like, what if it was time magic? I don't know. Oh, come on. No. Venti. Eh, La Signora. You are the worst, Signora. Ow. Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. You know, I think I understand why she got so angry with him. Because, honestly, um, he called her invasive vermin, but... She originally came from Monset, so. And there goes the Gnosis. So, this is a Gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. 
Good thing it's not going to be yours. When the beholder has no taste. <laughs> Good teeth. You've got some barbs even when you're in pain. Uh-oh. You know you're in trouble when you get the traveler to speak. We have what came here for. Right. Right. Before our dear Favonian friends arrive, leave nothing for them to find. Leave nothing at all. Nothing. Poor Venti. Poor Traveler. Poor Moomin. Uh, Honorary Knight, you're, you're awake. awake. Yep. I am, I am, I am. Venti, is he alright? Um, I wouldn't say he's alright, exactly. I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. Oof. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This of course is the not. first time I've encountered such a patient. He just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He of course left. he did. Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. Yeah, back to the uh, usual spot. I, I mean, Master Gene said to let him leave. How strange. I think I understand. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise of the Animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. Oh my goodness, can you imagine her finding out that Venti is is <laughs> Barbados? I mean, the way that she acts towards when when it comes to her worship of him and then the fact that he she disrespected him so much oh my goodness that would probably kill her or at least absolutely mortify her <laughs> the poor woman the poor poor woman yeah that can be the screenshot for my amongst the branches is good i love the way it smells you said that the first time. I said the exact same thing <laughs> last time. Uh, why do I only say these things when I'm down on my luck? So, what is a gnosis? Uh, so you noticed. Well, of course. <laughs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. Well, it's a good thing I'm not from this world. Visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. Hmm. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people allogenes. Allogenes? Hmm. Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> Of course. That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. <laughs> nope. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself, known as a Gnosis. My goodness. Dang. That's interesting. <laughs> it's just a glowing glass ball I carry around to avoid suspicion. Hmm. I feel cheated, but I guess I'm used to that by now. <laughs> woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your gnosis. Her Signora. Name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength, strength surpassing, surpassing that of other mortals. mortals. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that. Yep. Indeed. She is one of the seven. The Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The Poliarni Palace. Mm. Long well, but still, I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. What sort of god is the Tsaritsa? Uh, how should I put this? <laughs> Very delicately. Ago, I knew her well, but I can't say the same is true now. You see, wow. <laughs> a certain catastrophe happened 500 years ago, and after that, she cut off all ties with me. Mm. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. 
Really? It's raining? The rest of the seven, many difficulties lie ahead of them still. <laughs> of course. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liu. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. Of course he does. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liu for the rest of that year. Okay. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. Oh no. Why didn't you tell us before? Well, goodbye. We're going. We're going. Moment, All right. Windborn Outlander. You mean me? Hmm. Sorry for borrowing the statue's anima power without asking. <laughs> Just use it gratefully. Or better yet, treat me to a glass of dandelion wine. Sure. Traveler, as you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. Of course it does. To that, the songs in the cities. The Sarita, the Fatui. The monsters, they are all part of your journey. The all part of it. is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the hmm. chance to take in the world around you. I understand. Great. So that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to venti time. Yeah, venti time. <laughs> venti time. Now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single club. I, I don't know. I've already kind of, eh, well, I'll just do them all. Till the end, Devalin remembered his duty as one of the four winds. As huh. such, I don't intend to forcibly strip him of that duty and force my ideals of freedom onto him. Mm -hmm. I just hope that Devalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. Oh, is that the friend whose face you, you see? If you want to chat, now's the time. Mm. Is not always in a about the Advis Order, about Signora, about deities. As I said before, vision wielders are known as allogies and may ascend to Celestia. Of course they may. Gnosis is a higher order nexus of elemental manipulation and is emblematic of an Archon's status as one of the seven. One of the I seven. Hmm? Which of the seven took your brother? I'm sorry, I don't know. Wait, it's not one of the seven. One of the seven? I'm not clear of suspicion yet either, am I? You don't look like that god at all. And we've known enough, known you long enough to trust you. <laughs> We're a great team indeed. Say, <laughs> once you find your brother, how would you like to become one of the new four winds? Hmm, perhaps. Hmm, you don't seem quite toned and fired. <laughs> if being one of the four winds means free food, you can consider <laughs> Free <that> food. <laughs> oh no, of course. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single club. Of course. <laughs> About the abyss. I assured some new intelligence, you say? Oh, yep. I see. So, the abyss order has a prince who orchestrated the plan to corrupt Devalin. They were probably trying to turn Devalin into a weapon of war for the abyss. But that said, I have never heard of any such prince of the abyss order. Recent development, then. <laughs> I think so, too. Apparently. But how does a prince come out of nowhere and take command over the entire Abyss Order? Very carefully. <laughs> Want to chat? Now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single club. And uh, there's nothing else. Well, then. Best be off to Lewis. If the dissension ritual you fail to tally, then another year you must dally. Okay, all right then. I guess that. Ooh, ooh. Domain of Blessing. Yes, excellent. That means now I can actually start. Oh, yes. Wait, what? Events of rank 32. 32? We gotta get up to rank 32? Come on. Mm hmm. And until then, I've got to get get up to. Anyway, what? Eh, not that. You. 
Okay, so I've got to get to Adventure Rank 21 to do that and write it in 23 to start that. Crap. And then 32 to be able to get... Yeah. Figures. <laughs> I want to start a genius invocation now. Dang it. I guess I'm just going to have to start with the basics then. Alrighty, guys. I guess this is it. The end of the final part of the prologue chapter of this game. I'll probably take a couple of weeks off in between the recording of this and the recording of the next um, chapter, or at least a few days while I edit all the parts of this chapter together. <laughs> It'll probably be a bit. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys again in the next one. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Bye.